Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at XPath and XML injections. In this section, we'll explain what these vulnerabilities are, their causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what are XPath and XML injections? These vulnerabilities are attacks that target XML data stores by injecting malicious XML and XPath code into user controllable input. What causes XML or XPath injections? These two types of injections are possible because user supplied input. including cookies and other HTTP headers, is not properly validated before being used as part of an XPath query or as part of data that will be stored in the XML data store. To understand these vulnerabilities, let's go through some examples. First, let's look at an XML injection which inserts unauthorised data. Here, we have a website with an XML database containing user information. The attacker will trick the website into creating a user with admin rights. First, the attacker registers a new user on the site. However, in the password field, he adds part of a new user XML node. The web server constructs XML based on the username and the malicious password field. This results in two XML user nodes being created. The XML string is added to the DB, creating a second user with administrative user rights. Security has been breached. Now, let's look at an XPath injection, which causes an authentication bypass. In this case, an attacker submits input values that will take advantage of an XPath-based user check query in the back end. The submitted input changes the logic of the query. Because of the always true condition, the password condition will be ignored. The vulnerability is exploited in order to gain control of an account without providing a valid password. The session cookie is returned to the browser. The attacker is now logged in as administrator. Not a good scenario. Next, we'll look at a Boolean-based XPath injection. In this example, we have a website with an XML database of music. An attacker discovers that the site is vulnerable to XPath injection through the Search Artist input field. He submits malicious input and notices a difference in behaviour when the Boolean part of his statements change. Because of this, he is able to extract information about the XML by using statements that return true or false. He finds the number of children of the root node. Using more advanced XPath functions, he'll be able to find more information about the elements and their values and make it possible to extract the whole database. Malicious XPath and XML injections can have major implications. These attacks could be used to bypass authentication, giving an attacker unauthorised access to the application. Customer data could be altered or deleted, leading to availability issues, reputation loss and financial damages. Sensitive information could be retrieved from the XML database. Stolen accounts or compromised private data could damage reputation and credibility, causing customer and revenue loss. Obtained administrative access to the website could lead to denial of service, causing reputation loss and financial damages. To prevent XPath injection, always use a parameterized XPath interface. This should include all user input such as GET and POST parameters, cookies and other HTTP headers. Alternatively, sanitize all user input used in XPath expressions from special characters. Preventing XML injections requires developers to sanitize all user input using built-in framework functions. Also, complement this with DTD or X schema validation. Congratulations! You have now completed this module, XPath and XML injections.